Hello and welcome. So in today's video we're gonna find out if the ROG Ally can't go against the gaming laptop. Why are we going against the gaming laptop? Because some people are saying, nah bro, this is like a gaming laptop without mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Weird. But so we're putting the ROG Ally to the test against a razor blade. What's that? Do they hate me? They don't hate you, they just don't understand you. What am I gonna do? We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Will you take care of me? Sure, I'll take care of you. So let's see how they stack against each other. First one, the Razer Blade 15 in the left corner. Weighing three and a half times more than the ROG Ally. About three times more expensive and probably three times more powerful. But we'll see about that. In the right corner, we have the ROG Ally. He's light. He's agile, he's cheaper and more portable. They both have very different processors. The Razer Blade has an Intel Core i7, 6 cores, 12 threads. And the ROG Ally has an AMD Ryzen, 8 cores, 16 threads. The ROG Ally's processor is more powerful. But the Razer Blade has a secret weapon, a dedicated graphics card, an RTX 2060. Now it's time for the most boring part, downloading the games on each device, because both have nowhere near enough storage for being a gaming device. Three or four AAA games of these days, and the storage is completely filled. Hey, Cora, how could you betray me like this? You went with McCree. Dear diary, today The first game we're benchmarking on both devices is Horizon Zero Dawn. We're gonna start with the low preset and work our way up. But first we're gonna try without FSR. And the results are as follows. For the high preset, I decided to go with quality FSR. Now the last settings are settings that I would normally use on the ROG Ally to play this game. Now it's time for the razor blade. Next game is Cyberpunk, first on the ROG Ally.
And our last game to benchmark is Metro Exodus. The regular version, not the enhanced. Unfortunately, the benchmark on the ROG Li was cut short because the game crashed. I chose this part of the benchmark because it is exactly what was happening inside the ROG Ally at this moment. And then it crashed. And now the very last benchmark on the razor blade. So in conclusion, if we're talking about raw FPS generating power, the Razor Blade takes the trophy. It is about how we predicted three times more powerful than the ROG Ally. But is there any category where the ROG Ally wins in this situation? Well, the Razor Blade is a gaming laptop and was designed to be more portable than a desktop PC. And the ROG Ally was designed to be more portable than a gaming laptop. Which one makes more sense? Well, they both make sense and they both don't make any sense. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, the price of both devices is much higher than a desktop PC with the same specs. So what makes the most sense for gaming is buying a desktop PC. But then you want to be able to play on the go. The gaming laptop gives you the opportunity to play on the go with very good performance, but you are mostly limited to playing sitting at a table. Playing with the razor blade laying in bed like I do with the ROG Ally is not advisable because the laptop gets very hot and you risk burning your private parts. With the ROG Ally you can play anywhere, you can play sitting on the toilet, you can play laying in bed, you can play in the car, you can play waiting at your doctor's appointment. You can basically use it anywhere. So now for the final final conclusion and this is my opinion. Gaming laptops like the Razer Blade, even though they're much more powerful, they're gonna start making less and less sense for gaming. Although they will still have their place, when it comes to portable just gaming on the go, devices like handhelds are gonna make more sense in the future. So well, that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope you find it useful or at least entertaining. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, if you don't, thumbs down. So I'll see you in the next one, bye.